I really did. I like the fact that it was dark. I, I, I'm not complaining. I just wasn't expecting that. I did. I did laugh. I did laugh at one part, but I'm not going to explain it. Um, on, to, <laughs> on to my next, uh, final topic. Um, I'm, I don't know if I probably we probably burned this up, but I don't know if we ever really got deep into it. But you know, y'all, I'm pretty sure everyone done seen this argument. Uh, if men and women can be friends, so I bring this to the panel. Oh boy. Uh, basically, can do y'all think men and women can be friends? Duh. Why is this you, a question? You say, you say, okay, everybody say this because, but a lot of people do say no, and everybody like from Steve Harvey to a lot of people, they do say no. It's just like a lot of people agree. Some people feel like that men and women cannot be friends. Yes, they can. Um, maybe because they never experienced it. That's the only thing I can right. think of. Me and Crystal grew up together. Shit. Yeah, that's what I was gonna bring up. <laughs> so my take on this whole thing is that when you're in a relationship, you have to let the other person know um, who your friends are, being collectively aware of everything. So when I call Dion up or Dion calls me up and we're just talking about basic shit, okay, I'm always asking, hey, how's Constance? How's the kids? Where's Constance? Where's she at? Let me speak to her. I'm always including myself into the parts of his life that he lets me be included in, but I never disregard the fact that he has a woman that is his life, is his part of his life. And that's the problem with men and, and women. They never tell each other or tell their friends that's of the opposite sex, hey, this is my person, yada, yada. They just leave it um, basically solo. So the person ends up either thinking they're not... Um, in a relationship, a lot of disrespect goes unknowingly because a person thinking they're single or whatever in some cases and they say certain things or have feelings or speak really disrespectful. And that's the problem with men and women um, as being friends. They always want to uh, have an underlining type of disrespectful attitude when it comes to friendship and the third party who is their girlfriend or boyfriend ends up paying in the long run. You want to know what I think it is? I think it's just straight up narcissism for you to have to you to feel some type of way about me having a friendship with another girl and you, my woman, like you're making yourself that you're, you're, you're putting yourself at the center in order to make it an issue on purpose. That's narcissistic. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> if I have a relationship that's clearly defined. That's what it is. There's no speculation. I'm going to treat you accordingly. I'm going to treat this other person accordingly. What it is, is like people, because people be, have become so hyper individualistic, they place themselves at the center of whatever other relationship you have, irregardless of whether you are in the room or not. And it make and it creates this context to where people can say, oh, well, you know, men and women can't be friends because uh, you know, deep in my subconscious, I feel like you're always gonna, you know, have this innate desire for somebody. And it's like, well, no, that's oh. a narrative you put up in your head in order no. to justify the fact that you have low self esteem and you're not uh, secure in this relationship. That has nothing to do with me. That has everything to do with you. Okay, so in a in a scenario where you're invited to a wedding of your female friend, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and she only has a invite for you uh -huh. and not your girl or wife what would you say to that so with that um like like but it will be what you just uh, what what you said earlier though like you make it a point to include to like make sure that they're included right so it would it would depend on intention you mm -hmm. know what i'm saying if that was the case, then I would just hit up my hit up my friend and be like, "Yo, you know, I'm bringing my woman, or you know, like, can I have an invitation from my woman just so she knows that she's included?" You know, I feel like that could be solved with a uh, with a conversation communication. and communication. You know, yeah, communication. Like, you, you just communicate that, and and you know, you just act accordingly to what the reaction will be. You know what I'm saying? Because it doesn't have to be as deep as, you know, oh, she didn't invite my girl. I hate this person all of a sudden. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's a little extreme. 
you know, <laughs> like, and, you know, and with that, I'm not, I'm not assuming disrespect either. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because it could just may well be, it may have slipped their mind. You know what I'm saying? Or like, they don't think that our relationship is that serious. You know what I'm saying? Because with mm -hmm. boyfriend and girlfriend, you never really know like, oh, okay, I don't really know this person that much. So I don't want them to, I don't want to bring them into a situation where, you know, somebody takes them off or like they have this kind of personality and right. somebody's clashing. You know what I'm saying? So I just think it's like a precaution. I don't think it's like any disrespect towards it because if she's invited me to a wedding, then of course she's going to trust me to bring people that I know are going to behave. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So that right. could just be solving communication. Well, I, I like, I like where you're going with this because at the end of the day, um, I'm just speaking from personal experience when it right. comes to certain women. Um, they always think ahead. They're always right. going to think ahead. So if she did not invite someone that you're interested in or even went out of her way, and this is a, just a example. It's not real, as you know. Um, if she's not going out of her way to see if you want to bring someone or ask you, she just invites you, then you really have to think, what is the reasoning for it? If she knows yeah. that you're dating someone, even if if it's not serious, you have people have to look at the underhanded ways that people act. And I think because guys are very genuine at times, not all of them, but most of them, when it comes to friendships with females, they don't see the plan that they're they're being trapped in. So it's very important when someone has another person in their life that they ask about them, hey, how so and so? If you guys have an argument and you tend to have a relationship where you bring the argument to that female or boyfriend, you have to see if they're taking both sides and analyzing it properly. If they're only taking your side, there's an underhandedness to it. And that's all I have to say. Right. I feel like the common denominator to all this has always been sex. Because you know, for, mo for most people that says uh, men and women can't be friends. They always come with this was like, if you can call your friend right now, because you know I've seen this in most shows. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Because like most, because most people say that it's just like they call your friend tongue, and you know you hit them with that I'm horny right now. Can you please come through? And I'm pretty sure there are men that you know only with you just because they want to have sex with you. But I also feel like it. Um, it is they try to exclude the people that's like genuinely there for you to genuinely give you advice, or it's just like the way like you, Dion, and Chris, y'all grew up together, so y'all been cool with each other since kids and shit. It's just like I feel like a lot of people don't really see things like that. They just probably see, uh, especially the men that say that. I feel like they just see think uh, women as just sexual beings and sexual objects or something like that. And I feel like that's where most of the uh, men and women can't be friends from because even Steve Harvey done said that. Steve Harvey, <laughs> I don't put too much stock in nothing that comes out of Steve Harvey's mouth. Let's start with that. Uh, not nah, look, it, but, look, like I tell, look, even a, you know what they say, even a blind squirrel is right twice a day and some shit like that. Every, like, you may not, you may right not agree with no, but you may. What I'm saying is, you may not agree with everything, but there are some tidbits that you could take from him that he is correct on. Maybe. I don't. But, and you, know, and you don't have to go I'm word sure, for word, but there are some things he's like, "Yeah, that's true." I'm sure everyone here has a friend of the opposite gender, and yet, even though they, you know, they might be attractive as fuck, but you know, you've never felt anything in a romantic or sexual sense toward them whatsoever. Yeah, but at the same time, those lines can be blurred at any motherfucking time. That's what makes exactly. it exactly so at any time that line can be blurred. I, mean, I think that's what makes it so, you know, unpredictable. If it is and, word, though, I think it's just important to set up expectations and boundaries. Like, if it does yes. happen, then a conversation needs to be had about it. If y'all going to continue to do it, then, yeah, y'all need to set up some boundaries. Y'all need to set up expectations. Does that mean that somebody's feelings still not going to get involved? Absolutely not. But you can't say that you didn't have the conversation. I exactly. totally, I totally agree with you. The only thing I'm going to add with that is people are fucking fickle. <laughs> so sometimes like it yeah, may be that it. simple, but you know, like it, it may just depend on it. Huh? 
Uh oh. Oh no. Sorry about that. But I was just saying, like, some people just not right up there. So, you know, they're not gonna do it the right way. You know what I'm saying? Like, we may like the way we talking about it, it may be simple, but a lot of people nowadays, they I, I feel like a lot of people like to get shit wrong on purpose. Me yeah. personally, but yeah. you know, that just again, it's just character at that point. You know what it I mean? Is. Yeah, cause I lost I lost my uh, guy friend a couple years ago. It was only recently he hit me up. Um, the whole situation was, <laughs> and it's it's really fucked up. But anyway, um, the whole situation was she didn't want him having any female friends. Mm-hmm. I told him if that's what she wants and and you're serious about her, then be with her. That's what true friends are. I don't know what he got himself into, but it's really none of my fucking business. I say really... in a situation like that when uh-huh. you're talking to someone, oh, they have this thing about you having friends that are opposite gender. Run. Yeah. <laughs> Run. Uh, no, but listen, that was his choice. He had to know what he's willing to sacrifice for her and what he's not. He's a grown-ass man. 100% so if I'm agree. truly his friend, right? If I'm truly his friend, this is his fight, not mine. Right. If I'm truly his friend, I knew to back the fuck up. Did he have the choice to contact me and hey, be like, hey, Chris, what's up? What's going on? No, he had no business doing that because I already told him, don't contact me. It seems like it's trouble. And if this is the one, then leave me the fuck alone and, and do what the fuck. <laughs> I get what you're saying, saying in that regard. But at the same time, <laughs> that's hella manipulative. That sounds no. uh, that sound uh, to me that sounds of a manipulative ass, manipulative ass person. Yes. One of the they one of the be... things that a manipulative ass individual will do, uh-huh. they will try to isolate your ass. Right. But if that's her, we don't know her story. We really don't know right. what she's mentally going through, and if he's willing to put up with it. And it's uh, it seemed from when he came to me with the issue. It seemed like he wanted to um, do what she wanted him to do to make the relationship work. Like I said, whether she's manipulative or not, I really don't know her backstory. I wish I knew more about her. But again, it wasn't in my fucking place until she picked up the phone and say, hey, Chris, what's the relationship that you have with you and so and so? But it didn't get that deep because she's already putting up boundaries or whatever. I'm going to respect that because I respect him. That's what it means to be a true female friend to a guy that's the opposite sex or whatever. So at the end of the day, I back the fuck up. Where he went wrong is texting me, her finding out the inf- that he was texting me, oh, and her shit. going to fuck off. So that's on his part. He should have stood right. up, be a man, deal with her mental issues, because that's what he signed he, up for. He should have backed the fuck off when she spit that <laughs> bullshit about him having... <laughs> About you know him having female friends, he should have he should have kicked her to the fucking curb. See, but that's the thing that she was explaining. That's your boundary. You know what right. I'm saying? That's something that's a non-negotiable for you. You gonna have your motherfucking female friends, exactly. but for him, like mm-hmm. especially uh, on, on top of that, hold on, on top of that, especially if I knew them before you. Oh no, no, I'm not. I'm not cutting them off for you. Yeah, but that's what I'm know. saying. That's that, no. that's what I'm saying. Like the way you feel about it may not right. be the way he feels about it. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So it like wasn't. you yeah, you're censoring yourself. And again, there's nothing wrong with that at all. Cause I also agree with you on that. We like we see eye to eye when it comes to that. But when it comes to other people and their relationships, it's like very, very, very uh unique. You know what I'm saying? We can't uh paint uh relationships like as the same because when you do that that's when people start making mistakes because then they start assuming you know what i'm saying so like with what crystal just said with that relationship and what he got going on Mm -hmm. she don't want nothing to do with that because she don't want to be put in a situation where she's in the middle all because he decided to do something that was a non-negotiable for her right you feel me so like when 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 you have those type of situations it, it's discretion it's about